Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today's video is going to be based on uh, 2014, your 14, your 14 picks for 2014. And the video was done by, um, or the challenge and I guess tag video was done by the beautiful Natalie Beauty Diva. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go through, it was very tough to narrow down 14 products. Um, but um, in all fairness, I thought it should be products that I really, really have used a good bit um, and not products that I started using towards the end of the year. Even though I might like them, I just thought it would be best to put the products that I really have used throughout the year and um, continue to grab and use and purchase. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I had to let my kitty cat out, which I have a funny feeling he's going to be coming back and wanting to come back in. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started with this challenge, shall we? And let's go through my 14 products that I picked for 2014 that um, I guess you want to say were my grab two favorites and I would repurchase or have repurchased. So um, let's start with, I always, I guess hair care, because it just seems easier to start with hair care and then go into skin care and just all those different things. So in hair care, I have two products here that I've really used a good bit this year and have fallen in love with and will repurchase and, um, you know, it's, it's just... I do enjoy them. I do rotate in my hair care routine, um, as I always say. The two hair products that I've really liked a lot, and you've probably even seen them in my favorites before, and just me talking about them in general, is the L'Oreal uh, Advanced Hair Care New Total Repair and Extraordinary Oil. That's a lot to say. Uh, it's for dry to coarse hair, uh, and it's a leave-in treatment, and they come in these like this and a nice pump which I'm not sure do I have it twisted yes I do okay and um, I don't know mine's kind of sunk in here so I'm not sure if they're all like that or, or not um, but you know I still have a nice bit but you you really don't need a lot and I usually take two pumps because as long as my hair is which granted my hair is still kind of wet sort of because I had gotten uh, an evening shower today, a little bit later shower, and um, so I'm letting it air dry. I don't really blow dry my hair hardly ever. So I'll take two pumps, um, rub in my hand, and just work through the ends. Take two more pumps, do the same thing on that side, and then just all over. So I've just been really liking this, and it's just a great product. You've probably heard me talk about it many times. So that's one. Number two would be this um, Proclaim Argan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. This guy here is like only $5 or $6 the most in Sally Beauty Supply if you have a Sally Beauty Supply near you or look up Proclaim um, maybe online and see if you can get it. This is, a, this is a really great hair mask for such a great price range. Um, there's other ones I do enjoy um, however, I just seem to gravitate to this one the most. I think it's because I do feel it does something extra for my hair, the hydration and everything. Um, so it's, it's just a really, really nice uh, product, very thick, uh, nice tub. I mean, you get a nice size for the amount. So in your Sally Beauty Supply, if you're interested, this is a really great hair mask. I think that would be great. And it's for somebody who does uh, color treat their hair. Uh, maybe they have dry hair, just any of that. So, and then with this weather, you know, who don't need it. So, all right, so let's go into skincare. So skincare, um, one of the products that I've come to really enjoy, and I've heard so many people talk about cleansing oils. And I never really tried a cleansing oil. Hence, I've only probably only tried Two maybe the most so far right now and I think they're pretty pretty good products to use when you're uh, melting your makeup off like trying to get your makeup off but also great for moisturization and conditioning your skin 
And the one I really like that I have been using, and I will get more, is the Garnier uh, Clean Collection. It's their Clean Collection. It's Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Um, these are for dry skin, the ones that are more in the yellow um, container. It has jojoba and macadamia oils in it. Um, and it is roughly like around five bucks, maybe six the most in your local Walmart. I really like it. I mean, like it's melted down my uh, makeup, but it's also nourished my, um, my skin on top of it all. And I did get the cleanser and I'm really liking it, the cleanser that goes along with this. So um, I think this is a really good line if you're somebody that suffers from dry skin, if you're normal, normal to combo maybe even, it might be something you want to look into. But I really like it. I haven't tried any other cleansing oils, but you know, for the price and it's just been doing great for me. So I've been really enjoying it. So that's one. Uh, this product was actually sent to me by Beauty Stat. Like Beauty Stat, sometimes if um, they can contact you and uh, you know, like see about you know, like if you do YouTube channel or blogs or any of them kind of things. Uh, sometimes they'll have products and they'll see if you're interested in doing a review or you know demo or you don't have to do it on your video if you don't want to i mean it's just they would really you know like you to do it so um i heard this company before it's the haheva haheva i think that's how you pronounce it company because i had had a sample of a lotion which oh my god it smelled so great and i still i do want to get some of their lotions and some of their other stuff um but this is the Dead Sea, I can't even read it now, but it's a, a Moisture and Radiance Boosting Serum, okay? And this guy here, I mostly use during the daytime. I don't, I don't use them at night. I like to use them more the, during the daytime. And it has a nice pump on it. Um, i bring it up closer to you. I just really like it, and I just feel it has... Um, given radiance to my skin, the, the proper and some more moisturization. Um, I don't know, it just I, I really like how it feels and how it's just been um, maybe even lightening my skin, you know, making it more, get more lighter or something. So another thing that was sent to me was um, these cloths here and I did a whole review. I did a review actually on that serum too, by the way. Um, I could probably try and put the links down below if I can remember remember them or go through them and stuff. But this is the washi cloth, um, and it was sent to me. Um, it's it's in UK. I'm trying to think of the lady's name now. Oh my goodness, what is her name? Uh, well, I'll have to put the link down below of, of the company in that too. Um, but it's Natalie who had raved about them and talked about them so much. And I was a little bit intrigued too, you know, because I thought, hmm, you know, I've never tried anything like that before. So, I mean, it just, it, it almost does look like your typical washcloth, for except it does have um, more, uh, what do you want to call it, more to the cloth than, you know, like than a regular cloth. Um, but certain days I do like to do this uh, and put a cleanser on it, but... I extremely love it the most when you put on um, some cool water and warm water. Like first you put like maybe warm water on, set it on your face and just relax a little bit. It's like your own little mini spa like Natalie had said before. And I just, I really love this guy. So, and this product was sent to me, um, but it was through... Um, and anybody can do it. It's the L'Oreal Consumer Testing. I done a whole video about that. So they send, they'll send you like a, um, a thank you packet and whatever to you. And one of the things that was in it, and I do like uh, Kills. I think that's how you say it. Kills, and this is Creme de Cor Corps, or I, I think I butchered that the last time. But it's a really great lotion. I mean, there's no there's no scent to it which I do like because especially if sometimes I don't like to put on a lotion and if it has a scent to it and then you're putting on your perfume you know it all clashes and I just don't like that so this has no scent uh, this at all. little guy uh, the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother I got a little sample here 
Um, I do have a bigger one uh, that I haven't opened yet. But this guy here, which this was from the L'Oreal party. So, like I said, several of these things are like things that was sent to me. But, um, but I love this thing very much. Um, I really enjoy the Miracle Blur for the face itself, but for the eyes, I just really love this guy. Um, it has really softened up under um, under my eyes. It really does good for so that I can put the application of my concealer and everything on. It does get rid of the lines and like, I mean, like you don't notice, it, it just smooths it out so much more. Um, one trick that I think it was uh, Laura Shake, Shake Up Makeup had said to do, and I have tried it, is put it over top, like after you put all your eye makeup and stuff on and everything, and just dibby dab a little bit, like over top of everything. And because like you can do that with Miracle Blur itself on the face, you can, you know, do that to touch up even a little bit. And uh, yeah, it works really good. So that's the Instant Eye Smoother. Um, so yeah, I really like that. I have been enjoying the L'Oreal Miracle Blur. Um, so now, oh, a scent. Um, oh, jeez, no. Skincare. <laughs> Get with it, Lori. Skincare. Okay, I wanted to see how far I was. Mario Badescu, as everybody knows, I love a lot of his skincare products. I have come to find probably, because it was a toughie, I really love his rose water, the spray stuff too, I really enjoy that. But honestly, like this moisturizer, I love. I told my husband, I said, I don't know, there's just something about it. I think it's because I can feel it like it tones, I can feel like it almost does a lift or a toning to my uh, my skin or something. I don't know. Just I can just I can feel it doing something and it's just wonderful Like it feels like my face is like my I'm a little more lifted I guess is what I want to say and and I do it's very soft. I mean it doesn't have no Great scent. It's not a terrible scent, but it's nothing like you know any of that stuff His packaging isn't anything fancy really neither but his stuff. I really like very much so um, so this is the Ginseng Moist Cream, um, and, oh my goodness, there must be something about ginseng that I like, because I do have a toner that has ginseng, but, or maybe it's just because of what it does. I mean, this doesn't smell bad, but to me, it, it smells like a natural, natural ingredients in it. It has that natural, you know, kind of smell to it and everything, but oh my gosh, this stuff has been just amazing just love this stuff so I had to put it in there here because it's just been a big I would say as people say game changer for me um fragrance so then I was gonna say about fragrance oh, I love philosophy I really do and I had to put my falling in love in this thing because I do love falling in love there is just something about this scent that I don't know it just smells wonderful it gives me a happy, happy feel is basically what I want to say. It's just wonderful. I love getting a shower. I need to get some more shower gel of, of this because I love it when I'm in the shower and I have the scent in there and there's just something. Mm, I don't know. Just I love falling in love for philosophy. It is one of my favorite scents out there. So love it. Um, Okay, let's go into makeup. One of my favorite makeup tools that I've been using a lot is from the IT Cosmetics. Um, I believe this comes in most of the, um, I, their Celebration Foundation. You can get it with it. You can get it alone too. They're pretty pricey brushes, but this guy here, I just, I love it because, you know, it's nice and, which it's kind of a little bit dirty still. I was trying to get it to be cleaned off here, but it's really nice for when I'm doing my foundation application. But this one I use have used quite a lot. Um, I do like my Real Techniques one, but this one I've been using a lot more trying to work with it. And I just I so really for love eyes. It. I have two mascaras here that I really, really I had to put the two as a one. So I'm kinda cheating, but I just yeah. But anyway. Uh, these two mascaras I really 
enjoy very, very much. Um, I wish I could have added my other one because I probably would have had three in here, but I already went through it and used it. Um, and I'm trying to think of the name of that one. And I, for some reason, I want to say Makeup Forever, and it's not that. I have Makeup Forever in my head for some reason. But this one here is, and you heard me talk about it a lot, is the Kors Vitamin B Mascara. It's for lengthening. This is an amazing mascara for lengthening. If you love the lengthening part and everything, I would highly recommend this. I mean, it has what vitamin B and rice bran, uh, it just, you know, it has some good natural ingredients in it for your eyelashes. So um, it's not as chemically as some can be. So um, yeah, that's from Coors and I, I really like it. And then my drugstore, of course, I had to put this one in here, is my Butterfly Intenza, the Voluminous Intenza. This guy here has been a big game changer for me for drugstore. Um, my still my all-time favorite is Mally. It's, nothing has compared to that. Um, but when I put this, like, been using these two together sometimes, or I put this with another mascara, but there's just something, it just really does something to my lashes and makes them look like I have falsies on or something and they're just it's been really great and it flares them out so this is my favorite drugstore by far so far I mean I haven't tried every single mascara but the ones I have tried um, this is my favorite by far so and continuing with eyes um, I love the elf high definition under eye setting powder um, you know, again, you can get this for like three bucks, maybe four or something like that. And it is a great setting powder, but it lightens up underneath here too, but it doesn't set on my fine lines or anything like that. Um, just a really great setting powder for under your eyes. I love this guy. So yeah. Um, again, adding two, if I'm allowed, <laughs> but because I like these two concealers very much and um, I do have a favorite from Mally of a concealer but it's so crazy because I, I gravitate especially towards this one and this other one was a new one that I got um, early or in the mid of this year of 2014 um, but the first one is the Laura Geller Dream Creams Concealer and Highlighter Palette oh my gosh like I'm going to double check on her site to make sure she has this. I hope she doesn't get rid of this because I love this thing so much. I mean, as you can see, it's a pretty big compact for one, um, but it's very creamy and smooth and it just, it is just the, one of the best highlighters that I've tried, especially from her, but I don't know, I just, I gravitate to it a lot. I guess I could say it's almost like one of the best highlighters and, and, um, not just highlighter concealer out there too and it's like versatile you know I mean even as big as this is you could probably just apply onto your face and have sort of like foundation light foundation coverage or just light coverage so that's Laura Geller's and then the other one is from Pixie it's the uh, brightening or it's the correction concentrate brightening peach um, little guy I got this sometime in the middle of the year. I can't remember exactly when. I had heard um, Beauty Broadcast. Oh, what's her name? Emily Noel. Is that her name? She had talked about it so much and how she really liked it. And she thought it was pretty good price um, out there. Um, you know, considering like peach is supposed to be a really great brightening color to help cover up and highlight under your eyes and um, if you have the black and blue kind of going under your eyes and everything and it's another one that's like kind of a cream cream color and just very little goes a long way and um, I just I really enjoyed that so with those two being like a concealer and whatever I just I really enjoy those and then uh, last couple products um, are Mally products I have come to really love, love, love. And I don't know, I think she might have changed the formulation or changed something, or maybe it's just the packaging. But these are her uh, Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner. Um, and I already had liked her line, eyeliners, or loved them, I should say. And it could be just new packaging. I'm not sure quite, but this came in a whole set. You got like six in a set. 
And uh, there's like a brown one, a black one, a steel one, a blue one, a green one, and a purplish color one. And um, oh, this blue one, oh my god, it's, it is really pretty. What is it? Brazen blue. It is just wow for your eyes. Like if you can even see the coloring there. And um, I just, there it is. I just love that. I love those colors on my waterline, especially on my waterline, because um, I just think it's, like right now, I think I have the one from Rimmel, but I just think when you put a color like the blues, the greens, um, this is a green, this is Trendsetter, and I love this green too. Oh my goodness. There's the green color, blue and the green. I feel like when you add these colors right on your waterline, it just makes your eyes more open. It's a pop of color, like most people say, but it also makes your eyes look more open. And it's just really flattering. I just think it's so flattering. Um, and I, like I said, I have a purple and a brown one here. The black one I would probably use, like tight line, and then up above. Um, I hardly ever put black eyeliner on my waterline anymore. Um, it would depend, but I hardly ever do that anymore. And then the last things that I really came to fall in love with of Mally's, and I, she never disappoints me with lip products, never. I swear, she just, she always comes out with the great, great lip products and everything. And these are her lip uh, creams, like a lip cream. Um, I was trying to remember the exact name uh, for them now, and why can I not even think of it? I think I have Mally Mauve and the Pretty Pink here. Um, I, there, there was a four set. I even had um, a giveaway on on them and stuff, and I just I love them because I just they're just so pigmented. It's the liquid lipstick. That's what it is. Melted liquid lipstick. Um, and to me, like, I like, I, I enjoy my Too Faced. I do really like my Too Faced melted lipsticks, but she has them beat for me by far. I mean, like, with her, she has the Dofa applicator, um, the application of how it goes on even, you know, the pigmentation of it and just everything. Um, they're just, they're great. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear these, in, on, like, in... I have them on and I'm doing a video or if I'm out and about I always get compliments whenever I'm wearing these so I love these I think these are one of her uh, great invention -y kind of a thing that she came out with and I hope she comes out with more colors because I would like to have a coral like corally peach colors um, so I'm hoping that would be nice maybe I'll have to give her a little shout out about that because I do like my corals and peaches so Thanks so much, beauties, for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, if you have liked this video, or you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to me, I would really appreciate it and would love to have you. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join me. And um, thank you to all my new um, new sub subscribers that I have right now out there. I've been really enjoying that and getting to meet so many wonderful new people also. It's just been really great. Um, and as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, beauties, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.